Lisa Ackerman back with your talk of facts, the autism journey questions and answers that you need to help your child make the progress they need. I'm here to talk to you about one really important item. A lot of people ask me the question, well Lisa, I want to see this specialist in another state. How do I do that? You know, I don't, I don't own a jet. I don't have the ability to fly um, without great pain and travel. Not a problem. We know how to get this done. So. I actually encourage families, even though in travel can be a tremendous hardship getting a child with autism through security, through the plane, and in the journey to where they need to go, we have a whole white paper on TACA about how to travel with special needs kids. So it can be done. So travel, we know that can be expensive. Not everyone has an unlimited supply of cash for air flights. We love and work with this group called MiracleFlights.org. They're fantastic. They will fly you and your child, so one parent, one adult, anywhere in the United States, one time a year. Also in the TACA document are places to stay. So often you will have people in your life that love and support your family and don't know exactly how to help. Ask them to gift you their travel or their rewards cards or coupons for hotel, rental car. That's a great way to be able to get maybe a hotel room that has a refrigerator or a microwave and that's close to a Whole Foods so you don't have that added cost of uh, going out to dinner especially if your kid has a lot of allergies. It's important to note that there's not a pediatrician or a specialist by every Starbucks uh, in the United States. Close does not always equal best. So I bring up the travel point so you know that travel is possible, number one, and often it's really gonna help you get down the road faster for your kid and getting the answers you need from the specialist that knows what to do. So don't be afraid to travel. Mm -hmm.